potholes are still wreaking havoc in Grahamstown. However, there is a little known policy in South Africa that allows anyone who experiences harm to their vehicle from public roads to claim monetary compensation from their municipality. Mtutu Zeli Mtlaba, Makana's road manager, told us how to go about this process. You write a letter, and then after you write a letter, and then address it to me, and then with the photos of the pothole, and also the position where the actual pothole is, but you must have a point of reference. Let's say at that street, at, at the certain number, move of the house, and then after you combine that, then you have also to go and then do the trick codes at uh, maybe three manufacturing tires around Grimstown. You have to submit it to me. And then after that, I will write a letter to the director and then the director approves it. And then when he approves it, uh, and then I will take it to the insurance, to the finance, and then they will compensate you. Elan Ben David is a Grahamstown local who hit a pothole in October last year. He received compensation from the municipality through his insurance broker. Uh, so, so I got a phone call maybe a month and a half, two months after the accident from the legal department at Outsurance saying that um, in, a, in a case like this where there could be negligence due to the municipality, like in the case of a pothole, I do have the right to claim back from the municipality, but they said they will process like the legal work rather than me doing it. So um, I had to send them uh, uh, location, Google Maps photos, photos of the road, photos of the intersection, the potholes, nearby signposts. They asked me, like, was it clearly, uh, was it clearly marked that there potholes? Like, how long have the potholes been there for? Have they been fixed? Um, so once I'd sent them all of that, I got an email back from the legal department saying, thank you, they're going to contact the municipality. From what Elan has said, we can see that the process of getting compensation from damage is a lengthy process, but if seen through to the end, it does pay off. However, this has reached a catch-22 between the municipality needing to fix potholes and compensating people for damage. It's affecting us very bad because actually, if we would uh, repair our potholes and then we wouldn't have any problem, let's say, to to pay the money, let's say, for the, um, for the damages of tires and also for the damages of cars. Because remember that if you damage only, it's, it's not, the damage doesn't only go to the tire. Maybe it's, it's the tire and the mag. So we have to compensate for both of them. And usually some other mags you cannot get them. And then you usually have to pay them for the whole set, for the four mags. So it's costing us a lot. Providing compensation is an important policy However, with up to 15 claims per month, it is hitting the municipality's finances hard. Fixing Grahamstown's roads will therefore need a huge cash injection, which may occur in the next financial year. Joshua Parsons, reporting for Sondele Echini, Grahamstown.